We're gonna flip it. We're gonna f***ing flip it. No swearing. Three flips in the kitchen. We're gonna flip it, baby doll. I need a beer. Are you ready? <laughs> show you how to make my three mushroom rice capellini with coconut alfredo sauce. You're actually getting two recipes in one. I'm going to show you how to do my seared king trumpet mushroom scallops. They're actually mushrooms, but they have the texture, the feel, and the taste of scallops. It's a very simple recipe. You're going to need an onion, garlic, three different types of mushrooms, rice noodles, and some spices. First thing you want to get on the stove is the hot water because we're going to have to boil the pasta. This takes the longest and you want to get a pan ready to go. Hot because we're going to sear those mushrooms. All right, so first we're going to marinate the king trumpet because it's going to take the longest and we'll work on the sauce while this marinates. Warming this pan up for about three minutes because I want to sear the mushrooms. You just drop it in, dry pan, no oil. We're trying to dry it out. Mushrooms already have their own moisture, so we're going to cook it like this for a little while. You want to cook these till they start to show a little bit of color. So we're going to need about a quarter of an onion. Probably use about a quarter of this. Usually use half for a normal size one. And two cloves of garlic. Lay it flat, smash it down. Take your onion. You want to julienne these. We're going to drop this right into the pan. As you can see, the mushrooms are starting to get color. So we're going to cook the onions and the garlic until the onions become translucent. At this point, you can add a little bit of olive oil. And cook this for about two minutes. It's still on high heat. I'm crying and I'm not even I'm not even depressed anymore. All right, when it starts to look like that, you wanna add your coconut milk, okay? I got two cans or 28 fluid ounces. All right, so your water's starting to boil, so you wanna add the salt for the pasta water. Don't be scared of how much salt you put in here. You can put as much as you'd like. Not too much, though. Don't put the whole damn bottle. And you want to take your capellini rice noodle that you can get at an Asian market, usually in the noodle section. We're going to boil that for about three minutes. After we cook this here for three minutes, we're going to drain the water, throw the noodles in the sauce, and we're going to let the noodles cook in the sauce for the rest of the two minutes that it's cooking, just so it absorbs all that creamy flavor. One teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth teaspoon of paprika, fourth teaspoon of mixed pepper, or just plain black pepper, and a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Growing up in a Sicilian family, it's always been hard to sort of have recipes because my grandmother just adds and tastes, especially when it comes to salt. I gave you the specific measurements for those spices right there, but when it comes to salt, you have to keep salting little by little and taste it. So you want to make sure to have tasting spoons with you so you could always see exactly where it needs to be because you never know until you keep adding more and more. We're going to start off with about a teaspoon. We're going to mix that. We're going to taste that. And then needs a little more salt. About another fourth teaspoon. Baby doll, that's it right there. Get your pasta. It's okay if you still have a little water in there because uh, adding pasta water to the sauce, the starches help the sauce come together. We're gonna add this into the sauce and let that cook for two minutes on medium heat. Make sure you spread that noodle around so they don't stick. 
I got this pan on high too because we're gonna give it a sear. You wanna get that nice, beautiful, dark sear on each side of the mushroom so it looks like a scallop. It's been marinating now for about 15 minutes. To save this marinade, because after we flip it, we're gonna pour the marinade in there, let it cook on low, and let the mushroom soak up all that flavor. Check it. See, it's starting to get colored, but you want a little bit more than that. Look, look at that sear, baby. Look at that sear. All right, now when you flip that over, you wanna take that marinade that I said to save, and just let that cook for about three minutes. We're gonna serve this family style. Paprik in the sauce, so we're gonna dust a little bit of that. It's fresh parsley because uh, it's an Italian dish, so. What would an Italian dish be without parsley? Buon appetito, manja, manja, manja. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, pretty please, and just share this with anyone you care about.